Hello everyone out there on YouTube, Landis, this brother Evan Henson, coming to you from my apartment once again. This video is going to be a little bit different in the way it's done because, well, generally I like to try and have fun a little bit with my videos. However, I might say to say it, this ain't a fun fucking topic. This topic has to do with the censorship of conservatives online via Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitch, any fucking thing else. The world has seen this kind of discrimination before. The world has seen what becomes of this kind of blatant racism, discrimination. I give you, as point of fact, the Holocaust with the Jews. First thing Hitler did got everyone to not go to their businesses. That they were inferior. Got everyone to not to boycott them. Today that would be cutting off the use of social media. Then he made it illegal for them to own property like a newspaper or anything else so they could not put out their voice so that others may learn of what was happening in Germany at the time then after he had done away with the right to speech and the right to earn a living, he took away the guns, the right to own any firearm to defend themselves against his tyrannical dictatorship style, authoritarianistic government. Once that was done, he herded them all into ghettos. He told them, you cannot live anywhere but in these areas. Then, he said, you cannot live here. White Germans have the right to these buildings you're living in. But don't worry, we'll send you to a nice place out in the country. Those who did not want to go. Those who fought to keep the little bit they had. Were shot dead in the streets like dogs and everyone else was told fall in line or this will happen to you what would be the case study of today today it's the same thing of taking away people's right to freedom of speech on Twitter Facebook YouTube whatever That is the same as taking away the newspapers and stuff like that back then. There was already a war on our Second Amendment. They've not been trying to hide that fact. They've been blatantly 
open with it. Well, I urge every single red-blooded American male and female, if you are a true red, white, and blue-blooded American, I urge you, no, I extremely, strongly urge, on the verge of a command, urge you, and beg of you, to do the right thing, call your congress people, tell them enough is enough with this censorship of people online. We are all Americans. If you came here legally, you are an American citizen. And as such, I count you as my brother, as my sister. I do not give a damn what color you are. You are an American citizen, therefore you are my brothers and my sisters. You have the same rights and abilities and opportunities that I have. These are truths. These are facts. The Democrats want you to think every four years that this, somehow this country every four years goes racist. And that's bullshit. White people do not keep black people down. They do not keep Latin people down. You are yourself responsible for your failures, your successes. You and I are all responsible for what we do in life. Good, bad, or indifferent. We are responsible for the decisions that we make. We are responsible. No one else. To say that the government is keeping me down because I'm black or because I'm Latin or I'm gay or I'm this or I'm that is bullshit. It's to give away responsibility of yourself. It is to give away your own free will and to play a victim. And I gotta say, in all truthfulness, the victim mentality is fucking stupid. I never in all my life ever heard anyone talk about loving to be a victim. I've heard people talk about the days when Jim Crow was around in the KKK. And just so you know, I'm originally from Texas. I grew up in the 80s. Most of my friends, black and Hispanic. I've had crosses burned on my lawn. I've had people want to fight me and kill me because I was hanging out with blacks and Hispanics. You know what happened? 
I considered it a badge of honor to kick those boys' ass. And that ain't no shit. Not once did any of my friends say, Oh, we're victims, we're being victimized. Ah, we're being victimized, we're in the same space. Help us, help us, Lord of Mother, help us. Hell no. They stood right there beside me. And they said, you boys want some? Bring it. And they stood right there beside me and they fought. Not one of them played the race card, played the fucking victim card. But every fucking one of them stood and fought. And considered it a badge of honor to whip those ignorant boys' ass. So where this idea that it's cool and great to be a victim came from? I've done my research. Lo and behold, the Democrats. Dun, dun, dun. They want to keep us separated, not together as Americans, but they want to keep us separated as white Americans, black Americans, Latin Americans, Asian Americans. They don't want us coming together like we did in 16 as Americans. One, one unified nation. Because it is easier to defeat someone, a nation, an enemy who is fighting amongst itself. You see, England actually supported the South during all those civil war. Why? Because they knew it was easier to take us back over if we were divided instead of together and strong. There's an old saying, divided we fall, united we stand. And it's pretty fucking simple. If we divide amongst ourselves and fight amongst ourselves over bullshit, we will be overtaken. We will be invaded and we will be subjugated. And the American country that we live in all our freedoms that we hold so dear will be fucking nothing but memories to those of us who lived when we had them. But if we come together as a country as we did when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, how America came together as a country, as a whole. There ain't a fucking thing that can defeat us. We beat communism, didn't we? We beat Russia. As a nation. As one nation. One people. We defeated Russia. As one people, we defeated. Yes, we had help with the f English and a little bit of the French and a bunch of other allies. Yes, we had help. But it was our might, our will as Americans. It was our ingenuity to come up with bigger and better things to hurt and kill people. that led to us defeating 
the Emperor of Japan and Adolf Hitler and the powers of the Axis. See, it was the Allies being in one with each other. One goal, one thought, one common thread that banded us all together that allowed us to beat the fuck out of Hitler, Mussolini, the Emperor of Japan. Before that, we beat the fuck out of the Kaiser. Why? Because when we are as one, no one can stand against us. But all will fall before us. No, no, you say, oh, but what about Korea and Vietnam? We didn't win there. We didn't win there because, quite frankly, the politicians fucked it up. Had they done like they did in two and told us, hey, there's your enemy, do whatever you gotta do, kill him. We would have whooped ass in Korea. I already, I'd give us a year and a half, two years, and that shit would have been done. Vietnam, maybe two, three years, we would have been done. We would have won there too. It's a simple fact of the matter. Divided, we as a nation will fail. United, we as a nation will stand strong and always, always win. So it becomes down to a simple choice. Do you want this country to fail? If so, you are not a patriot. Do you want this country to thrive and succeed? If so, then I got news for you. You are on the Trump train. And welcome aboard, Patriot. But this censorship of social media has got to fucking stop. Congress and the President need to pass a bill that breaks up the big tech company monopolies. It is the only way to ensure all of our voices are heard online. They need to unban people like Miss Luma, Laura Luma, the need to unban people like Alex Jones. And yes, even though I do not believe in a damn thing he says or how he says it, I do believe they need to unban Minister Farrakhan. Why? Because as an American citizen, he has the right to freedom of speech. If I do not like what someone says, I do not listen. I change the channel. I go to another channel. It is that simple. If I like what someone is saying, then I listen. I stay on that channel. I hear what they have to say. Then I research to see if what they're telling me is true, and I make my decision. Even though I am not a fan of Minister Farrakhan, I will honor the oath I took, and I will fight to the death for his right to say what he says. Even though I do not agree with it. That is what a true patriot who believes in the Constitution would do. 
Now I'm asking everyone who watches my channel to please put this out there so that other people may see it. Share it on your social media accounts. I hereby give you permission to share this far and wide. I do not get money from YouTube. I'm not trying to get money from YouTube. I'm trying to get the truth out there. And as usual, if you like what I have to say, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, don't. If what I have had to say resonates within you, if it rings a chord of truth, then please, by all means, hit the subscribe button, which is right here. And then be sure to hit that little bell icon next to it so that you can get notified of all my upcoming videos. But I will say this, we as Americans need to get on our Congress people's rear, legally write them, get them to Bust up the big tech monopolies so that people that happen to lean conservative do not get censored. Because today, it might be the conservative, but tomorrow, it could very well be the middle of the road left it, liberal. Or the progressive liberals may be not as progressive as they want. And then it will be anyone and everyone who has a different opinion than the government. Or that the government deems, or rather the big tech companies deem, is a thought criminal. Or someone who is spreading dangerous ideas. By the time we get to this stage, it will be too late. So I implore you. Write, call, email your Congress people. Tell them it is time to stop the censorship. And it is time to bust up the big tech companies, the big tech monopolies. It is time to break them up. Until next time, this has been Bradley Allen Hensley, coming to you from Cobleskill, New York, saying, love your country. Help and be nice to your fellow countrymen. But don't trust your government. Always think for yourself and do your own research. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.